I'm here with Academy Award winner Robert Duvall. And one thing that I read in the notes that was interesting is that you said that the story reminds you of To Kill a Mockingbird. Can no, you tell I, me? No, I never said that. Oh. No, no, I never said that. Oh. People say that, but I never said it. No, 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 no. It's oh, okay. a different guy. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some people thought that, yeah. Many people did think that, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, what about this story and, and the character of Felix attracted yeah. you to say, I want to, you know, I, I, this is something that I can portray? Well, it's a pretty interesting guy, you know, a guy that sets up and goes to his own funeral. You know, I figured. And the twists and turns, I said, yeah, this, this is pretty interesting. I'd like to try this, yeah. And they kept coming to me, and I kept going back to them until they got the money to go. And when they were ready to go, we went. Now, how unique of, of a character is Felix to have 12,000 people show up to a funeral when he's not dead? Like, what, what about his personality was able to well, he, orchestrate that? Well, in that day and age, people built up myths because there was no television, only radio and some newspapers. So... People had a curiosity that they, they couldn't be immediately satisfied with like a TV screen or a movie screen. So they had to go to him to satisfy their curiosity. What can be said of holding secrets in for all that time? Like so many people have that problem in life, but that was like this character holding this, this secret in to... Well, like, you know, he suffered because of it. He finally had to get it out. That's why he held a mock funeral so he could get, he wanted people to come and talk about him, but then he got up and talked about it more to get that secret out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you for We should probably talk about the price of everything. Um, the clothes, the ads, our price for everything. We'll be fair about that. I'm not worried about it. Well, what do you think, boy? Well, the money makes people do funny things. I'd probably put it in the bank, sir. This bank here, you can't trust. That's all I'm going to say. Can I trust you? Every name and every dollar is on this table. Not what I asked. I've done a hell of a job for you. I don't see why. Mr. Bush, I didn't mean to imply. Uh, I've sold horses, cars. I mean, I've sold watches that were been the inside of my coat. I'm not ashamed of it. I don't rob banks, don't cheat at cards. I sleep all right. Nights I sleep. Take out for the expenses you already had and give me the receipts. When the bills come in for things you give them to me, I'll pay them. You put this money in a box, the boy and I'll take it someplace in the morning. Whatever new comes in, listen to me, whatever new comes in, you keep in the bottom one of them ugly caskets in there until I come get it. When the party's over, you name a fair price for what you've done and we'll settle up. A fair price. Is it just me, or is he extremely articulate when he wants to be? Follow us. Follow us now. Try to follow us.